The first screen we're going to be looking at is the Empire Management screen. Since this is a very small universe we have generated specifically for this tutorial, there's only the pirates and the Tellerate, which is us. On the, the, the screen where you see your own empire, there's a, a couple of things that, uh, that are very handy. Um, first you see the, um, the Galactic uh, Bank here, which is actually exactly, exactly the same as the, the bit on the top left. Uh, above that you see the amount of research that you're generating, which you can also see from the research screen. And here you see the number of ships that your empire currently has, six in this case, and the amount of planets that you control. You also see whether or not you have uh, toggled the option to use governors on new colonies, and what the default planet governor is, which is the default uh, template that your governors use to build up a planet. So every time a planet is colonized right now, the governors automatically start making that into a balanced wor world. You can toggle that on and off right here, if you wouldn't like that. On top of that, there's an objects list here, where you can view every single object in the game. So all your ships, planets, um, fleets, everything. And a separate fleet screen. Now this is a pretty handy screen once you actually made some fleets because you can split fleets, merge fleets, uh, reorder them and rename them as well which is extremely useful for for managing them. Another very useful button here is the civil acts which allow you to carry out uh, specific uh, sort of uh, civil acts in your uh, your empire. Um, I'll give you an ex example. Suppose that you're uh, short on metals but you have plenty of electronics and advanced parts and you could opt to select metal focus, which increases your metal production by 50%, but decreases electronics and advanced parts by 35%. Uh, the tooltip explains exactly what each of these options does, so I suggest that you have a good look at those um, in the game itself. In order to uh, engage in diplomacy, uh, you go to an opponent. In this case, there are only the pirates, which. Uh, it's a pretty random example, but it still allows us to pull up the same screen, so it doesn't really matter. So Here you can propose a new treaty, which brings up the Diplomacy screen. And what you will find on the Diplomacy, diplomacy screen is that on one side um, is your empire, and on the other side is the opposing empire. Um, the empire that proposes, the empire on the left, is always at the top here, and the empire that's here on the right the receiving empire is at the bottom here. So you have to watch that if you're um, the receiving empire rather than the, the, the sending empire. So this is actually very simple. Um, you could for example propose to um, give the pirates in this case uh, 100 metals and you want back for example uh, luxuries. You could then propose this. It's usually useful to at a timeout in the, the proposal. So 120 seconds would come down to two minutes and then this uh, this treaty would automatically end. If you do not do this then the treaty is indefinite so you do want to, to be careful with that. Um, if you're the receiving empire you don't actually have to accept or reject outright. You will get access to this altar button where you can make a counter offer to the other empire and that can go on until uh, either side accepts or rejects and no, then you start all over again. The second screen in these uh, overview screens is the planet screen, which is actually something we've already looked at in the last tutorial, so we'll skip over that in, uh, in this one. We then have system, which we've also looked at. Just to, to reiterate, you can uh, build ships straight from here. Um, if you select this option, it actually selects the best planets and, and builds the ship on that. So you can queue up a whole bunch of ships in, in an entire system rather than one planet. And you can also build structures straight from here, which uh, yeah, is sometimes pretty useful. You also have the Stellar Object step. There's only a star there right now and a ship step. And there are no ships in that system right now. And last but not least, you have the Research screen, which is very important in uh, in games like Star Ruler. Uh, unfortunately um, it's a little transparent or opaque so it can sometimes be a little hard to read but if you zoom out from your empire 
then the, the background becomes a bit more black and it's easier to see then. So you have all sorts of technologies here. Uh, each unlock different uh, components, upgrade other components or buildings, uh, etc. It's pretty standard in this sort of game. But what's kind of unique in Star Ruler is, if, if you see here, the armor technology is currently locked and not available. There are various parts, links, as we call them, uh, going to other technologies. The way that you can unlock armor is by um, researching these um, things on the side, the gas, hunch, etc. And if you research one of these, one of these parts will randomly unlock. And if you're lucky, it will be the one to armor, and then, then you get access to armor. Um, there is an option in uh, the game starts to make that random, so that these parts don't just link to the ones next to them, but can go anywhere. But in, in this particular case, I've turned that off. So if I would research this hunch, then you will see. You will see that that goes a little bit slow. So that's probably not an uh, example we're gonna gonna wait for. But yeah, once that research is completed, one of these links will be unlocked, basically. So yeah, that that's pretty much uh, all, except that I should explain to you the the queuing option because. To change um, the researching technology, you simply click click on it like this. And you'll see that cargo storage is now being researched. But you can actually queue um, research as well, which isn't very well documented right now. To do that, you just hold down the control key and you lift click on the various things you would like to research, like this. And that makes it much, much easier to uh, to queue up research and to manage your empire. So you can manage this in, in all sorts of ways. You can reorder it, you can delete things, you can set things on repeat, etc. It's, uh, it's really pretty useful. Right, that concludes our second video tutorial. Uh, in the next video tutorial we'll be looking at ship design. So uh, we'll see you there.